The Phase 8 SVS upgrade for the Leonardo AW139 includes many new features that increase a pilot's situational awareness while improving operational efficiency. The Phase 8 SVS intro video contains an overview of these features. In this video, we will demonstrate a Cat A takeoff and steep approach and show how the Phase 8 SVS upgrade provides a pilot with valuable information while increasing situational awareness. Since the maneuver happens quickly, we will pause the video a few times to highlight the new Phase 8 features. We begin on the ground. Recall from the intro video that the SVS terrain display is overlaid with the standard flight and engine instruments, making it easy for the pilot to combine the flight instruments with the terrain information all in one view. The CAT-A display features from Phase 7, such as the CAT-A mode enunciator, the target power setting, and target pitch setting are still shown. However, as we will see, the terrain overlay helps the pilot in performing the maneuver. In this example, we see that we are performing a CAT-A takeoff in a clear area. The takeoff decision point is 30 feet. This is also indicated on the RA tape. For Phase 8, the target pitch setting is overlaid on an expanded pitch scale and terrain display. This helps the pilot be more precise in acquiring and maintaining the target pitch. The target power setting is shown here. Note that the display is in heading mode, meaning the terrain display on the PFD matches the view outside the windscreen. As discussed in the Phase 8 SVS intro video, this display mode shifts from a heading-based display to a track-based display, depending on the aircraft ground speed and drift angle. The HSI is pushed down on the display to make more room for the expanded pitch scale. This is useful during steep or non-standard flight maneuvers, such as a steep approach. As the aircraft lifts off the ground, we can see that the texture and contouring of the SVS terrain display makes the aircraft movement more apparent. Grid lines are overlaid on the ground and are spaced at approximately one mile intervals. They are also oriented to true north. These grid lines help the pilot in maintaining situational awareness. During the first part of the maneuver, the ground speed is low and we stay in heading mode. This helps the pilot in maintaining orientation with the terrain and obstacles around the aircraft. The zero pitch reference line is shown as a solid white line and gives the pilot a reference point for the aircraft pitch attitude. As we progress through the maneuver and we reach our target performance parameters, the magenta cues disappear. This is the conclusion of the CAT-A maneuver. As the aircraft speed increases, a flight path symbol begins to fade into view. As you may recall from the intro video, the flight path symbol indicates the path or trajectory of the aircraft. In this example, the aircraft is pitched up at 7 degrees. However, the aircraft is climbing at a 15 degree flight path angle. In this example, we are performing a CAT-A confined area takeoff. As you can see from the addition of the obstacle symbols on the PFD, our takeoff will have an oil rig obstruction. The takeoff decision point is increased to 100 feet due to the obstacles. Again, the expanded pitch scale, as well as the HSI pushdown, makes the PFD image more useful to the pilot. During an approach to landing, the Phase 8 SVS display features an extended approach course display. It visually displays the extended course to any published runway or helipad. This is useful during lower visibility conditions. In the final stages of the approach, as the ground speed drops and the approach angle gets steeper, the display mode enters split mode, and the SVS display transitions to a view optimized for landing, facilitating a safer and more precise steep 9-degree approach angle. Again, the HSI is moved lower to accommodate a steeper approach angle as the display changes to heading mode. At this late stage in the approach, the pilot is primarily focused outside. However, even a quick glance at the flight path marker will validate the approach angle, as well as other flight information. The Phase 8 SVS upgrade allows the pilot to make smooth, continuous, and precise movements while providing a heightened awareness of obstacles and clearance capabilities for both standard and non-standard flight maneuvers.